To be really effective to work in Northern Australia, it's very important to be respectful of the way that there are differences up here. And that's not about thinking, oh well, people in the North are special and therefore things have got to be done differently. It's about, I think, understanding th three bits of the Northern Australian experience. That impact on how people live up here, how services are delivered, and how you can have that enduring kind of impact and therefore with that are cultural considerations, gender considerations and also the way that people are engaging with employment in perhaps different ways than in other places. One is that most of the Indigenous population of Australia are in the North. Our teams work across a whole lot of different cultural landscapes. Some people are working in Arnhem Land, the Yongor language group. Other people are over in Western Australia where there's different kind of, you know, Jaru and Walmajari. Other people are up the Dampier Peninsula, while others are down in Central Australia. So it's, it's incredibly important that they have an awareness of, of culture and also different cultural groups that they're delivering the training within. There's also the weather. We have quite significant wet season and dry season differences. So the wet season is a time when it rains all the time and roads are closed. So you don't plan travel during that time. You don't plan training during that time. You might plan different kinds of projects. Then in the dry season, it's kind of like, yes, now we can travel, we can go to places, but that might also mean that a lot of your clients are probably going to go out bush during that time. So they might not be in the community where you actually need to engage with them. And then there's just also the geography. In Darwin, Northern Territory, we don't have a huge population, maybe 240,000 people for the whole of the state. So that's quite significant when you're thinking of, of who you're working with and, and how you're working. So it's those kind of elements that is, is what is meant when people say we, we do things differently up here. And the, the more sophisticated that you can understand those dynamics, just the more effective you'll be in your work. There's no point in trying to do something one way because that's a standard. The, the talent is in how you deliver it in a way that's actually going to work. And I suppose one of the real joys and, and motivators in working with Indigenous communities is that people in those communities have got knowledge, particular cultural knowledge, but also ways of treating each other that often is never well, never well publicised, um, and lots of people outside of the communities know anything about. And so once you start working in a community, the, the learning, while, while you think you're there in order to deliver a skill, the reality is that it, there's quite a bit of reciprocity in it. So after you've worked with an organisation, you'll find that you've learnt probably as much, if not more, uh, about cultural processes and the way that they value different things as much as they have about a governance kind of process. And I think there's a kind of exchange of humility that is essential in working in Aboriginal communities um, because this is a very special time in history and, and we have some totally unique opportunities to walk side by side with people to, to help you know, history be made.